In this clip I will discuss an extreme, extremely important theorem that's called extreme value theorem. And it says something about the functions on closed intervals that are continuous. So suppose we have a continuous function on some closed interval a, b. Then the statement of the extreme value theorem is that f has an absolute maximum, fc, and an absolute minimum, fd. Yeah, so basically the extreme value theorem says that when you have a closed interval and a continuous function defined on it, then there are extreme values in absolute sense. Yeah, so f has an absolute maximum fc and an absolute minimum fd. And it says that the maximum, absolute maximum is attained and the absolute minimum is attained. So if we look at the graph on the left hand side, the example, then here we see the c location for the absolute maximum and the absolute minimum is attained in the left boundary point A. Yeah, here I will not provide a proof. Uh, it could, can be seen to belong to a more advanced course on mathematics, but I will devote uh, an additional clip to the proof of this extreme value theorem. Well, it's important to realize that there are some sufficient conditions mentioned in the uh, theorem. And uh, the first one is that a, B, F is defined on a closed interval. Yeah, so um, we can make a counter example to the statement in extreme value theorem if we have an open interval. So suppose we look at Fx equals the tangent of X. This is clearly a continuous function on minus half pi half pi. If we leave out the minus a half pi and a half pi on which the function is not defined, but we also know that if we take the limit from above to minus a half pi, that the function goes to minus infinity, and the same holds if we approach a half pi from the left, then the tangent of x goes to infinity. So we have no maximum, nor we have a minimum. Also, we need continu continuity, or continuity is a sufficient condition on top of a, having a closed interval. But if we leave our continuity, something might go wrong. This is illustrated in the next picture. So here we see a discontinuous function. So we have a jump and a jump down. And uh, although we have an absolute minimum in B, here we have a perforation and this indica indicates that this value is not attained. So if we approach this point from the left, we still increase, keep increasing the function value, but it has no absolute maximum. Yeah, so the, both conditions, closed interval, in combination with uh, continuity, are sufficient conditions for existence of extreme values. These are not necessary conditions, though. Uh, maybe you can... Uh, think of it what it means what I just say.